got our fish prepped, and we've got all of our vitamins. So we've got some vitamin smelt for our cormorants, and then we have our anti-malarial and vitamin smelt for our penguins. Now this is their second feed of the day. They get three feeds, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Look at this sweetheart. The way, the way we're able to tell everyone apart is by generally their wing bands, but also there's a couple characteristics that we can pay attention to. So this little individual right here, his name's Scooby-Doo, and he has freckles, so you can tell him apart. Yeah. This little one's name is Squeak, and she has little white freckles on the back of her head, so you can tell her apart. This is Glenn, and he's got beautiful brown eyes, just like his mama, so that's how we're able to tell him apart. Now you'll see all of the youngsters, they have beads on their wing bands, so that lets us know that they were born here at the zoo, and the bead coloration correlates with their parents' colorations. Now they do get fed as much as they possibly want, depending on the season. Sometimes they'll eat five or 10 fish, sometimes they eat more if they're getting ready to molt, like flap over here. Um, he's probably, well, about a week ago, he's probably eating closer to 30 or 40 or 50 yeah, fish a day, to just to get ready to drop his feathers. Here's one of our youngsters who was hatched out here. Her name's Jagu. Here's Sharptooth. He was one of our babies that were born through the SSP a few years back. Lala. Glenn again. The heartthrob. Yeah. They have very quick metabolisms. They poop a lot, so they go through their, their food very quickly. <gasps> this handsome fella is Pedro. Oh, Pedro, look at that. I don't know if you noticed, but when he opened up his mouth, they have really cool little appendages inside of their mouths like little spikes, it helps them to grab hold of the fish. And they don't have any teeth, so they have to swallow their fish whole. Then, can we see inside your mouth? Yeah, good boy. So we train these guys in order for us to manipulate their bodies. So they're very used to us touching them, to touching their wings, touching their feet, touching their beaks, opening up their beaks. Good boy, good boy. How about you, can I open up your beak? Yeah, good boy. That's very nice. Oh, and that's very sweet. That's a nice noise. You see that little curved hook on the end? It acts just like a fish hook grabs hold of the fish really easily. You're being so good, bud, for letting me touch you. <gasps> and that's called alloprening. And that's something that Glenn will do when he gets a little bit older, when he finds me. So he just practices it on us while he's still very young. He's only a year and a half old. Thank you, Glenn. You'll see that our penguins are very fussy when it comes to eating. Some of them like to be hand fed, some of them like to be toss their fish, others eat theirs head first, tail first. Totally depends on the individual. And Sam's just recording. And she's gonna record every single fish. Make sure that all of our penguins get the right vitamins and the right number of fish. 